today I am doing a part two of the conspiratorial competency evaluation against April Griffin, a rape and domestic violence victim currently being victimized further in the Milwaukee County Circuit Court and the uh, additional players in this corrupt prosecution are Thomas Donegan, Deanne Hurd, and one of the, if not the most notorious, underhanded, defective, ineffective assistance of counsel to practice in the city of Milwaukee, state of Wisconsin, attorney Taiba Sethi. Uh, April was involuntarily committed to the Winnebago Mental Institution because she did not agree to a fraudulent and scheme so-called plea agreement that would have gave her two misdemeanors in exchange for waiving her parental rights, her appellate rights, and her rights to further uh, fight for justice for her son. She was brought back from the Winnebago Mental Institution for a hearing for tomorrow, April 2nd, 2010, in which they are, at this point in time, conspiring to have a closed hearing because they don't want the public to see what they're doing because it goes mark, checked, and letting the national, international world know the corruption and the extent they will go to keep this victim victimized. Contrary to the United States Supreme Court mandates of the First Amendment that the public and the press has a right to court proceedings, they've already had in-chamber meetings. Now they want the doors closed completely, contrary to federal law, while acting under color of law. Basically, they want April to go back to Winnebago. I want you all to know, since she's been in the Milwaukee County uh, Jail, again, uh, the Milwaukee County deputies are not giving her her property, telling her, oh, you'll be leaving in three days. We don't have to give you your property. So something covertly is going on. Uh, I want to share with you all some things that they do in the Milwaukee County Jail and in the state of Wisconsin in the city of Milwaukee. What you're looking at right here, April's been on 23, 24-hour lockdown. Right there you see findings. You see blank, blank lines. In those lines should be the date of a hearing regarding the inmate and the so-called violation. But they're blank. But what you have at the very bottom is an allegation that April needs to be disciplined for 18 days because she refuses to take responsibility for her actions. These are the little doctor papers they put together to justify keeping her in solitary confinement. You don't see a name on there or the, the date the hearing was held. Then I'm going to show you all an article where a jury awarded an inmate $1.2 million in a Wisconsin prison because this inmate was denied food for days. Uh, his name was Burrell Freeman. And he was in Bosicable prison. It, you know, they initially keep the inmates locked down for 23 hours, lack of recreational facilities, illuminated cells, etc., etc. Well, they're doing the same thing in April, and she's in a county jail. I'm going to show you all the admission paper from Winnebago. This admission paper tells involuntary admitted patients that you may be asked to participate in a psychological evaluation. By signing this paper, I understand that I have a right to refuse to participate in any psychological testing. The risks of psychological testing are considered very, are considered very minimal, but include possible mental fatigue and mild anxiety. Now, if she's involuntarily committed, why does she have to sign forms for consent? You already involuntarily committed her. She didn't sign any form for consent. You got a recent article that says, what's justice served? This was about uh, an inmate who's free now named LZ Jolly, and they talk about how this man been arrested 18 times and how he has skillful defense attorneys and questionable calls by prosecutors and unusual decision by judges in his favor keep him from getting locked up. Well, you know, it's not jolly. It's what's going on inside of the system. What goes on inside of the system? I'll tell you. Things like this. Suspected serial killer. 
was informant. This individual, Walter Ellis, went around for years killing black women, abusing them, hitting them with hard objects, and he was continuously let out because he was contracted with the state. You know, just like this jolly man, you don't have a judge, you know, giving him time serving, prosecutors recommending he walk for nothing. Because it's a bigger scheme. The bigger scheme is what? The state prison rate soars. Why is it soaring? Because the real criminals are let free. And they're making money and plotting on women, specifically black women. And they're putting them in prison. And they're violating them. And they're experimenting on our children. And it's at a soaring rate. April has been locked up for two years over two years totally for this case unprecedented because they want her son under any means necessary they've contracted with this criminal matthew subbelievel who has more clout and power than lz jolly and ellis walter ellis combined more corruption than michael locke another person they claim beat the system payroll this man has bribed judges. He has violated a woman, a, a, a United States citizen. And you have women like this woman, black woman, who's being deported from, uh, she's from Nigeria. She's a student, been in America 19 years. Her name is Tope Awe. And uh, she's done no crime, but she's getting deported. But you got a rapist named Ugandan Matthew Subaliba, whose status is not known, who's somewhere probably abusing April's son Jesse out of pleasure because he told April he would kill him too. You know, I guess it's going to have to go slowly because they've been exposed so many times and he tried to kill April while she was pregnant and raped her and abused her. And all you got to do is, you know, get in where you fit in and fit in with the corrupt judicial system. Milwaukee, Wisconsin is more corrupt than Chicago. Chicago has a number of indictments against its political officials. You have yet to have one in Milwaukee. This is mob style living. And they have the audacity to do it in your face, in our face. Because they know or they hope that you don't give a damn about April and women like this woman, Theola Neely, assigned to check abuse he impregnated his client. Who impregnates her? This man. Social worker, conduct went unreported. Threatened her if she told anybody he was going to take her children, it did happen. And the Brewer Child Welfare helped him. Now what's going on with Theola Neely now? You don't hear much about it. In Milwaukee, Wisconsin, we have the most sorry black officials to ever take office especially the sixth district in which april resides you have gwen moore congresswoman gwen moore everyone sits on the women's issues board in washington knows about what's going on in april and mums the word all of them are silent change does come and when you don't have justice, you don't have peace. So I want you all to know, tomorrow's April 2nd, 2010. Uh, sheriff deputies are already telling April, you'll be leaving here in three days. This already plotted out. The uh, scheme is to basically put her back in Winnebago and shoot her up with involuntary drugs. I want you all to know, sitting in the United States federal court was a and is a restraining order motion that was filed emergency and it's been sitting there the, the the system is so corrupt it's mob style in milwaukee and what they'll do they'll try to say well it's moot but you know what history shows us we the people by the people for the people for a more perfect union it's going to take we the people because the system here has already determined April is guilty by the color of her skin, by her status, and by the fact that she's fighting back. And Michael Gooley told April, how dare you defy me? I said your son's name is changed. I said I want your son. He told her he'll treat.